everybody i hope you're well and keeping safe i'm so sorry that um i've waited so long to actually sit and film you probably would have seen on my instagram that we are getting internet installed all around our block basically and every single day they're at a different point and every single time i go to film it is right in front of the house so if you can hear anything like that noise that just went past that is that annoying noise they're drilling into the ground and oh my god i woke up this morning and i could hear them outside the house and the house was vibrating so i was like for god's sake i wanted to film today luckily i found a window and i'm hoping that they stay off long enough for me to film so today's video is a big buys and not so big buys for baby i thought i'd go through some of the bits that we've bought for the baby including the big bits and the tiny things that we kind of need for when he arrives so without further ado let's get on to the video i'm gonna start with the small bits and then move on to the bigger bits um and just show you a couple of things that i've got actually sitting here because they used to be in what was the office and is turning into the nursery. <sighs> Everything is living in our bedroom at the moment. And when we get this room redone, as you can tell, that is all getting replastered. So that is horrible. So I'm very sorry. But yeah, that is all getting replastered. So once that is happening, everything else will shift back into there. When hopefully that room is painted the first thing is a baby gym so we've gone for this one as you can tell it's just a wooden gym and it includes these little hanging toys i think it's a what i can see at the back here it's a little octopus a whale and some fish yeah some fish from little dutch I've gone for this one and it was not to six months and to go with that i grabbed a little mat from lindex baby it was on sale and i can't remember what how much it was but when i find the price i will just pop it somewhere here um, we haven't actually opened it but the reason we got it was because it is the perfect color to go in the nursery the reason we haven't set it up yet is because the nursery isn't done and Isla would most definitely try and climb under there to play with it. So from what I can see on the website, this is £39.95. I was going to get one off of eBay for just £10, but it would have been, literally just would have been the frame. Um, but for some weird reason, I actually went to buy it. I think I bought it and it was cancelled. So um, yeah, it was just a used um, gym and yeah, the person cancelled the order. So that was going to go to my mom's house so that the baby would have something to play under when he visited. But yeah, so we ended up going for this one. So next is a pack of muslins that we have bought. So I have actually bought two packs of these and I just bought them from... Amazon and they were about 12 99 I think for 12 muslin squares and I think uh, yeah 70 by 70 so they're fairly big I'm gonna stick these in the washing machine once I've done this haul um so yeah they're just your standard muslin squares he has got really really nicely decorated ones but babies sick up all the time they make a mess all the time and you go through muslins like there is no tomorrow so you always need some plain ones if you don't want to ruin your nice ones so i've bought two packs of these um and then hopefully you'll have enough to go through for at least a week i'll show you an example of one of the nicer muslins that we've got for him um and it is just this beautiful large swaddle muslin i think it is yeah it is only one layer but it is 120 by 120, I think. I absolutely love the print. And this will be perfect to throw over um, the car seat when we're going for a walk or something, um, or for him to lay on. So yeah, very excited to use that. And this was 16 pounds off of Etsy, um, but in it included shipping. And I think it was three pounds, um, but yeah. 
really really nice quality so soft and the print is beautiful so i know dummies are controversial and every parent is different but we will be using dummies with this baby um we've gone for the bibs dummies just because i've heard very good things about them bought a pack of four from the dummy store dummy shop um if i can figure find out the right name then i'll stick it in the description box below but they just look like this and i think yeah so we've gone for four pretty neutral colors so it's like a dark gray a dark brown a sort of like cream and then sort of like a caramel color is in the size one and i think these were about 14 pounds altogether hopefully he likes these um the reason i've only got one pack of dummies at the moment is because obviously we don't know if he's gonna like them so um i'd rather just see if he does and then if he does i'll get more um obviously these will be sterilized um so yeah they're really really cute little dummies as well and they're really tiny i can't imagine <laughs> they're tiny but they're gonna look absolutely massive on a newborn so we'll see what they're like um next thing is just a dummy clip so for some reason i put this off for ages i don't know why i was being so fussy about dummy clips because it's just a dummy clip i managed to find just a neutral wooden one that looks like this and it is certified don't worry oh um, yeah and i've just managed to thread it through onto the dummy and it'll clip on like there excuse my nails they're horrific just like i think i paid about seven pounds for this so yeah his wardrobe is very very neutral anyway so um and you'll see that in a video that i'll be filming after this one um so that should go with anything he wears and even if it didn't doesn't matter next up is his little comforter toy and this i actually bought off of the high street i bought this from h&m and i absolutely love it i did really really like all of the other bits on the independent stores and on um, shops like the natural baby shower or um scandy born but they were quite expensive and for a comforter toy i kind of just wanted to make sure that we got something really nice so i ended up finding this on h&m and it's just a little moon sleeping moon and the bottom of it looks like this and it's just a muslin material in, in a cream oh it's quite bright like that so you can see yeah in a cream color with sort of and the stars on it are like a gold and it's just such a little cute comforter toy i absolutely love it i think this was about 10 pounds and they do actually have a blanket in this print on the website for 12.99 which i'm very tempted to get because it was really nice but um yeah this is gonna go in um his hospital bag so yeah it's so cute i just love anything to do with space and the stars and things like that so it's really really nice hopefully he likes it the next two things are actually two products from snooze snooze i'm gonna go with snooze <laughs> they're from snooze and they are two uh fitted sheets so we've got multicolored polka dots and then little rainbows now for me this is quite bright um if you know me very well <laughs> it's not very neutral and doesn't really go with anything else but they're so so sweet and they're really nice i'm pretty certain this was about 20 pounds for two of them um which isn't too bad i suppose um the reason being is because i don't know if the snooze pod which is what one of the things we're getting um has a different shaped mattress so I don't know if anything else will fit the mattress on the snooze pod crib so if you do know of any other places that might do something cheaper please let me know and um, then I'll be able to get a couple more because obviously we need more this is really really nice I haven't actually opened it to wash it yet but I just wanted to show you the sort of thing we're going to go for on his snooze pod 
and there is actually another one that I really really liked and I think it was a sort of like black and white wave pattern and then the other fitted sheet was grey a bit more my style so um, we're going to keep these and use them but yeah I'm, I think I'm going to get the other ones as well at the moment this is actually the only sleeping bag that I have bought um, but I'm thinking I should probably get a couple more just in case the reason I actually got this one is because it is not to six months it is the 2.5 tog and what from what I've read online um, this is just for all year round so for standard room temperatures of 16 to 20 because he's born in September hopefully um, the weather should cool down a little bit more then and he'll be able to sleep in this absolutely fine I will obviously be changing his clothes depending on the weather um, when he does wear this but the reason I actually bought this one and this I think was actually the first thing I bought after 20 weeks um, is because it's actually a nappy change sleeping bag and as you can see we've again gone for the polka dots um, but this one is quite cool because you can just zip it open it's got a dirty gram here yeah you can just zip it open and then change the baby and then zip it back up without having to sort of maneuver them and interrupt their sleep hopefully he likes this um i think that's the reason i actually bought just one because obviously i don't know or neither of us know if he's gonna like all of these things so I've kind of just gone for just one at the moment and if he does like it I can get more like this one and I'm pretty certain I got that on offer I can't remember the website I got it on offer from because it was such a long time ago um but it was supposed to be 24.99 and was slightly cheaper I will check that though and pop it in the description box below okay so next I would say it's quite a, a small thing but isn't at the same time but it is this baby nest so I don't know if you can see because of the light <laughs> this baby nest and we were going to get a sleepy head but they are so expensive and I've heard very very I've heard very very good things about them but I just couldn't justify paying that much money for a short amount of time that he would be in it for that reason i just googled sleep nests and there are so many on the market and for that reason we went for this one so the time of buying this i'm pretty certain it was about 39.99 and it is super soft we've gone for the gray obviously it's for um not to eight months so the bottom actually expands as they grow and yeah can just carry it. it's got a handle as well on one side so i can carry it around the house if he does need a nap um and then this is a little changing bag as well that you can use which is great because um we didn't actually get a changing mat with the bag that i bought which i will show you in our what's in my hospital bag video views were pretty decent so i'm hoping that it's okay <laughs> yeah, i'm really happy with this purchase I'm glad I didn't spend that much money on a sleepy head although there are loads and loads on Facebook marketplace that you can find too if you want to get it at a reduced price but for us we decided to go with Cali stuff I obviously don't have anything to hand right now so I will insert some clips of the bigger bits that we have bought for the baby starting with the push chair I actually bought the Bugaboo Fox 2 for the baby. It took a very, very long time for me to decide what push chair I actually wanted. And I'm actually really gutted because the reason I've waited so long is because of this whole lockdown situation. And I really, really wanted to physically go into a shop and try push chairs. But we don't have any baby related stores in the area um which is just so annoying and john lewis isn't open either so i've not been able to actually go and push some push chairs around um and for some reason that was one of the things i was really looking forward to when i found out i was pregnant i never got to do that with my first pregnancy either i actually changed my push chair when Isla was three months old i think 
um, because I didn't like the first one. Just bought it from eBay. Um, and that one was a lot better, it was a Quinny. So, yeah. Very disappointed that I would not be able to go into the shop and try them. But it was a throw up between the Upper Baby Vista, I think it was, and then the Bugaboo Fox 2. In the end, the Bugaboo Fox 2 won just because of the actual hood itself comes over really, really far. Um, the carry cot you can use as an overnight sleeping crib, I believe. The general maneuverability of the pushchair really, really preferred. Um, the upper baby is really, really nice and the basket underneath is actually massive. Um, I know a few people who have that pushchair and they absolutely love it. But I've gone for the bugaboo. The only downside I've found at the moment is that it actually, the curry cot is quite big and um, we've had to sort of manoeuvre it into the boot and onto the back seat. So I kind of got to figure out how I'm going to deal with that with both kids in the car. My car isn't actually that much of a problem thinking about it because I can just put either in, I can just put either in the front of the car and then put the baby in the back with the frame of the push chair next to him. So that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Um, but yeah, I absolutely lo love it. I've gone for the all black um, style and it is just so smart. I really, really like it. Um, even the wheel rims are black. Um, the handle is black. It's got really nice leather. Um, straps on the handle you can move up and down i'll do a proper review of the push chair once he's here and we've used it a couple of times properly um but at the moment i'm very happy with it just to interject the noise is really annoying i don't know if they're next to my neighbor's house and they're obviously picking up like concrete or something and it's so loud and so annoying <laughs> sorry if you can hear that i have shut the window um Moving on to the actual car seat that we have decided to go for. Start at the beginning. <laughs> we decided that we were going to go for the Bugaboo Fox 2 and that is obviously a new design from Bugaboo. The Fox a lot of people have raved about and I believe the car seat, the initial car seat that we went for um, would have actually fit on the frame of the Bugaboo fox um with adapters oh my god so i believe the car seat that we actually wanted to get initially or actually got before the push chair would have fit on the bugaboo fox frame with adapters so it was my mistake from the beginning but um so what happened was that we went for the Joey or Joey um, eye size, I think it is called. So the initial car seat that we went for was the Joey eye level and that was a reasonable price with the base included. And that was, that was perfect. We really liked it, the fact that it lent back as well into a flatter position meant that um, the baby could stay in the car seat for a little bit longer if he needed to um, and I just felt that that was probably a lot safer than any other car seat then I actually had to tweak Bugaboo just to make sure that there were adapters that would accommodate that car seat with the Fox 2 and they got back to me and said with a list of all the car seats that would go with the push chair and the eye level was not on that list. To start from the beginning, and there was another car seat that actually uh, that I actually really really liked, um, and it basically did the same thing, but it was slightly more expensive, and it was the Cyvex um, Cloud Z uh, car seat. And the only downside to this is that you actually have to buy the car seat separately from the base, and the base is very expensive. Um, I have gone for the base that doesn't swivel round because because I just don't think it's necessary to spend. Um, how much more? £60 more just for the car seat to swivel. Um, it does exactly the same thing. I've watched loads of other videos just to make sure that it is 
exactly the same thing and it goes with the car seat up from the um cloud seat. so yeah this car seat flattens and lays flat just um as much as the joey and yeah i really really like it it's massive though <laughs> But um, I'll insert a clip of what it looks like and I really, really like it. Um, I think from what I know, it was £225. So it is a very, very expensive car seat. But from the reviews and from what I've read, it is a very safe car seat. And that was something that I was more than happy to spend a little bit more money on just to ensure that he was safe when we were in the car. Then I was going to get one off of Facebook Marketplace. But the ones that... Um, were being sold on there were quite a lot older and I was just a little bit worried that because obviously the car seat had been updated quite a bit since um, a lot of the models that were being sold on Facebook um, I just was worried that it wouldn't be safe enough and, for <laughs> and I was very much about the safety especially with car seats so yeah we've gone for this one um, he can stay in this car seat up until 18 months I think it is and then the car seat up from that still faces backwards which is what um, I'm going to be doing with this baby for as long as possible so the next big thing is the rocker I was looking at the what's it called four moms mama Ro mama Roo rocker um, for the longest time but it was just I just couldn't justify spending that much money on a rocker um, they are amazing, they are supposed to be incredible and I've read and watched a lot of reviews on this rocker but I just couldn't bring myself to spend that much money on Facebook they were still relatively expensive um, and I wanted something that was um, hands free basically I didn't have to sit there and rock it for him to go to sleep or to settle um, so in the end we went for the Jouy rocker it's called the Jouy Sansa 2-in-1 rocker their designs vary, but I went for the cheapest version of that rocker. Um, so he can sit there and settle. And I think it has two two way rocking. So side to side and then back to front as well. So yeah, that is not open yet again because I think I would probably climb onto it and break it or something. Um, so once the nursery is done, we can pop it all in there. But yeah. <laughs> That's the rocker that we've gone for. I think it was about a hundred pounds, um, whereas the Mama Roo was about 250. So yeah, that was a lot more pricey. Um, don't get me wrong, I think it's a great rocker. The reviews say so, but yeah, I just couldn't justify spending that much money on it. Um, the handheld or the rockers that you have to push yourself are really, really nice as well. There are some rockers that are just as much as the Joey one um, where you have to rock it yourself um, and I just I didn't want something like that. I did have one like that with Isla and I wasn't a very big fan so I'm hoping, <laughs> fingers crossed, that he likes this rocker. Next is an item that we actually haven't got yet but we are planning on getting and that is the snooze pod. So these are actually a lot cheaper on uh, Facebook Marketplace than you might expect. That's where we've got ours from. I know that they're very expensive um, to buy uh, straight off the bat and we would have done that but I just thought because he's not going to be sleeping in the room with us for ever, although that would be nice. Uh, it's going to outgrow the snooze pod very very quickly. Babies always do um, outgrow Moses baskets and cribs very quickly so we decided to go uh, second hand so the what we are planning on doing is getting a second hand snooze pod and then paying for a new mattress because just you know it, that explains itself um, so yeah we are waiting to find something that will come up on Facebook marketplace but generally they're going for about 50 to 80 pounds which isn't too bad for us. I decided to get that into the room, but again, as I said, this room needs to be replastered before we do anything like that. So hopefully we'll be able to get this room sorted before he arrives. 
I talk a little bit more about the nursery furniture that we've decided to go for. Um, I'll go into a bit more detail once the nursery is finished and I've shown you the tour of the actual nursery um, but that'll be a separate video but the furniture that we've actually gone for is Ikea and I'm pretty certain that I've spoken about this either in a blog post or on Instagram but we've gone for Ikea furniture um, and we've gone for the pine crib I think it's the 120 by 60 so the smallest one and it was actually only 40 pounds so we've gone for that um, cot and then we are going to buy a slightly more expensive mattress for when he needs to sleep in the nursery just because I want to make sure that we have the most comfortable ma mattress for him um, I've had a lot of issues with Isla in the past where she really really didn't like sleeping in her cot and I put it down to the mattress and when we changed it she was absolutely fine. We've also gone for a chest of drawers from Ikea. Initially we actually popped to Ikea bearing masks and all um, a couple of weeks ago and the <laughs> so annoying the um, drawers that we wanted to get from Ikea were the Hemnes drawers but the drawers that are basically um, two drawers on top and then two bigger drawers on the bottom and then when we got in store it actually wasn't available and the only ones available were the three drawer hemnes drawers which was really annoying actually because they on the website it said that they were available and that was what we had our hearts set on um so we ended up going for something slightly cheaper which is actually absolutely fine actually um and they were 60 pounds i can't remember the name of them. them here somewhere and what i've actually done is found different drawer handles to put on them because when I was trying them out in store, they did feel a little bit flimsy and cheap. Um, so hopefully the handles um, just change them a little, change them up a little bit and give them a nicer touch. So I'm very excited to get the nursery sorted and then the drawers in there so we can start putting his clothes into that room because honestly, it's taking over this bedroom. Like, just everything. It's just everywhere. Those are the two main pieces of furniture that we're getting for the nursery from Ikea, as well as the four um, box Kallax um, furniture shelf thing um, that I think was about £30 and that will sit next to the cot. Um, but I'm still waiting for the jute baskets from Ikea to become available so that I can pop them in there. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have them in the Milton Keynes store. So I'm going to have to try and find them elsewhere because they don't sell them online. So annoying. Those are the main pieces we're getting for the nursery and I'll talk you through that a little bit more once I've finished the nursery vlog, which I am in the process of filming, I promise. So I really, really hope you enjoyed that video. I will put some alternatives of some of the other things, um, big buys and not so big buys that I did really, really like. Um, and slightly more affordable bits in the description box below if that is something that you would be interested in. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!